Hey Run Junkies, it is Wednesday and I'm bringing you the weekend update. Actually, I have a lot that's going on this weekend, not the least of which is the Fortitude 10K. That is coming up on Monday. So today I'm headed up to Roadrunner Sports for not only that reason, I have to go pick up my bib, but I am in desperate need for new running shoes. Not just the running shoes, but also the inserts. I get custom molded insoles for my shoes and they have made all the difference in the world for my running. So I'm gonna go through the whole refit process again today at Roadrunner Sports. It's been two years since I've done that. I'm kind of overdue for a refit just to make sure that I'm still wearing the right shoe for me. But I gotta head out here so I can get that done. The thing about getting refit for shoes, you have to dress as if you're going running. So I have done that. I am ready to run, if you will. Even though I've already run this morning, I ran three easy miles. I'm in taper, so it's not like this is going to be highly stressful when it comes to uh, the number of miles I'm gonna put on or how hard I'm gonna work. Really, all they're gonna do is evaluate my stride and my gait and uh, show me what I can do and just to find the right uh, shoe style for me. So I just finished uh, lacing up the new Saucony shoes. Let me give you a quick rundown on what's going on with all the shoes that are sitting here. So I've got the old pair. This is my oldest pair of Saucony Guide 10s. I've been wearing these quite a bit. They've already been relegated to walking shoes and now they're completely retired from any kind of fitness regimen. So they're more like work shoes running to the store, doing all of that. So these shoes are basically completely retired. Uh, these are the last pair of Saucony Guide 10s I have in circulation. Uh, I had five pairs of these uh, when I was in running rotation when I was uh, training for Dopey. So this is the last pair I have. It's fine, uh, but really what I needed more than the shoe itself was a new pair of these inserts. Now, these are the old dirty ones, but um, you can tell this is the hard uh, custom molded insole for the shoes. These have made a huge difference in my running over the last couple of years. I do have a video coming up about that. I came down to, actually the guy brought out five pairs of shoes. And this was one of them. This is the new version of the guide. It's the Saucony Guide ISO. I like the new shoe. I like how it fits. Um, it, I feel almost no difference. Uh, from the guide 10 to the ISO. The biggest changes they made were in the upper and with the lacing system. The sole of the shoe is almost exactly the same. There's almost no difference between the two shoes. So I felt like the ISOs were a really good fit for me. Uh, this is going to be the first pair of many. So as far as the shoes are concerned, this is going to be just for my training runs during taper. I will have them broken in by the time I get to beat the blurch, but I'm still going to wear the guides for the next couple of races for Fortitude 10K coming up this weekend and beat the blurch. So I will probably retire these guys by the end of the month from running. The problem I had was that I took my shoe tags off of my old shoes. I was gonna put them on the new ISOs, but the ISOs lacing system is different and I, it won't work. So I can't put my shoe tags on. A couple of things about uh, the first week of taper here. Um, I love taper and I found that as I get older, I like taper more and more. The great thing about it is that all of the pressure to just nail those runs during taper is just gone. So you're, the pressure's off, the hay is in the barn, and you can just start rethinking and shifting your focus into race day. This time around though, I started shifting my thinking a little bit about how I was running. I've been running by feel. Before that, I was training by heart rate. And this goes into the way back machine a little bit, but one of the things that heart rate training taught me was that uh, if you keep your heart rate at or below 140 beats per minute, you're staying in that kind of safe, easy zone. It's not for everybody, and it was really hard for me. It was probably one of the hardest 
challenges I've ever faced as a runner on my running journey, but I did learn so much from it. So going back to this week's taper, about halfway through my easy three mile run on Friday, I thought, well, okay, I, this feels easy. What happens if I bring it down and start shifting my focus to the metric of heart rate? And I wasn't that much over 140 beats per minute. So I slowed down just a little bit and I was able to get my heart rate under 140. Okay, so what? What's the big deal? Why is this important? What has been happening since I've been training by rate of perceived exertion and taking what I've learned from the heart rate training, it's kind of molded into, well, I'm doing something right because two years ago when I started training for Dopey, I could not run at all. Not a jog, not even a slow shuffle without getting my heart rate over 140. Now I am jogging at a really easy 13 to 13.30 pace and I'm keeping that heart rate down. To me, that is a huge victory. Okay, folks, so I have my bib for 4 to 2 10K. That is coming up on Monday. I'm really looking forward to it, but now I've got to figure out what I'm actually going to wear. Uh, Fortitude takes place in Fort Collins, Colorado, which is the home of Colorado State University. So I could go with green and gold uh, because that's the official colors of uh, Colorado State. But the problem is, is that I went to University of Colorado. So it's, it's kind of hard, like, I don't know if I want to wear this or if I want to stick with my normal red, white, and blue for the Boulder Boulder series. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to wear. But regardless, there's going to be a sparkle skirt, uh, sparkle athletic skirt, excuse me, involved. All right, so here is the plan for how I'm going to approach this race. Again, Fortitude 10K, and the first two miles are a gradual uphill. It is not nearly the elevation gain and loss that we would see at the Boulder Boulder. So it's a lot more of a flat course. Uh, most of the uphill is in that first two miles. I'm gonna start out at a 10.30, 10.15 pace, try to stay somewhere in there for that first two miles. And then because the next three miles from mile two to mile five is a net downhill, I'm hoping that I can kind of pick up the pace a little bit and try to keep it under 10.22 as an average pace. My A goal is to beat my fastest boulder, boulder pace in 2017 of 104.22. My B goal is 110 and my C goal is to leave nothing on the course, empty the tank as I cross the finish line. So in that last mile, regardless of any of my goals, I am going to push as hard as I can certainly in that last mile. I'm looking forward to this course running through Fort Collins. I've never done that before. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited for this one. I feel like I messed up today because I don't have the right mug. Um, I'm really excited because I signed all of us up, my whole family up for the Run Disney Star Wars Rival Run Weekend. Very excited because my son and my husband and I are all running the 5k and the 10k together. And then I am polishing the whole weekend off with the virtual run, the virtual half marathon, and the rival run half marathon so I can get that Kessel Run medal. And I'm really excited about this race. We've been looking forward to doing this now for probably three years since they actually made this this uh, Star Wars set of races. So uh, we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a fun weekend. I'm probably more excited about this race than I have been for a long time, probably since I signed up for my first Dopey in 2017. So that is the current news out of Denver. You guys will see a 4 to 2 10K recap next weekend. Uh, coming up on Tuesday, I'm gonna bring some highlights from the second in the webinar series, Perform Like a Mother. I just attended that maybe last week. It's all running together now. But I will bring you those highlights coming up on Tuesday and I will have a live Live show on Thursday so please subscribe you don't want to miss that if you have questions you'd like me to cover in that live show please leave them in the comment section down below as always if you like this video please hit that thumbs up that's it for me today you guys thanks so much for watching go find your awesome and until next time happy running need to go get my stormtrooper mother <laughs>